Amen, Pastor. I can wear a flag, a United States flag, and hate this country. Mm -hmm. yep. It don't profit me a thing because I'm wearing a lapel pin that says the flag. Mm -hmm. It's the love inside of your heart. Hallelujah. What mother could sit down and eat and know your child is home? Mm -hmm. no. What mother can go to bed warm and know your child is cold? What mother can go to bed knowing your child is sick? Mm. Where is that love? Mm. Experience the ease of love outside of the four walls of the church. Without love, we gain nothing. God looks at the motive behind the motion. Yeah. I say God looks at the motive. Or he looks behind the motive at the motion why we're doing stuff. Ooh, brother, would you like to come eat at my house for the holidays? Now you're gonna need to bring the turkey, the cramper. Oh, and that's why you want me to come. <laughs> Is that real or somebody? Yes, Lord. Brother, I'll bring you to work. You got twenty dollars gas? I said God looks at the motive behind the motion. Yes, yes, yes. Love working on the inside will manifest itself on the outside. I say love that works on the inside will manifest yes. itself yes. on the outside. Is that right? That's right. Am I preaching wrong? No. Love. I remember I told this woman one time years ago. I told her, I said, young lady, I see how much your mother loves you. But I cannot see how much you love your mother. Her mother, she cried out to me and said, Pastor Dwayne, I don't know if it's God, God loving and blessing me or it's in my mother. Because her mother born would uh, hit, baby, hit, baby, hit. I said to the mother, I said, God's trying to deal with your daughter and you blocking God. Bought her a condominium. The car had a problem, I'll pay for it to get fixed. Ah, 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 ah. Need a, I, I, I got it, I got it. She had to take tests for school, the mother took it. Jesus, Jesus. I said, I know how much your mother loved you, but I don't know how much you love your mother. As pastor of this church, everybody should see how much I love. I call constantly. I follow up. I make sure. Amen. Yes, Amen. I can't even get a call. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I got folks that got offended at me because I said I like to have one day of pastor appreciation. But we have not missed anybody's birthday throughout the year. What's love got to do with it, preacher? You cannot call yourself a Christian and not walk in love. I know a sister in Christ that if she got a loaf of bread, you get half of it. Amen. Amen. I know a sister in Christ that when she goes shop, oh, that might be good for and buy two. Mm -hmm. I see your heart. I told her, I see your heart. My God, I said, God, I pray I have that type of love. Jesus, Jesus. Amen, amen. I want the love that's going to speak to me, to my heart, yes, Lord, and not to my flesh. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I want love that's going to tell me to get right before I get left. Yes, that's Lord. Right. Experience the ease of love. That's right. Love working on the inside will show itself on the outside. Amen. Amen. Listen to me, please. I don't know what I'm preaching to this morning, but love is essential to the lifestyle of a Christian. That's right. That's right, Pastor. We must discover what a loving lifestyle looks like. How do we know what a loving lifestyle looks like? How many know that we came into this world under a polluted root of love, a guise of love? Mm -hmm. We think a man love her, her, a man love his wife because he cooked barbecue for Father's Day and buy flowers for Mother's Day, mm -hmm. but won't take the kids to church. We have women that will be in a relationship with a man that's physical and verbal, but he loves me. No! God 
declared. Which one of you, having a son, will come to you and say, Daddy, I'm hungry, and you give him a stone? Or which one of you, having a daughter, will come and say, Mom, I'm just thirsty, and give him serpent's blood? If you, who being evil, know how to give good gifts to your father, or from your father, how much more will your heavenly father give you who he loves? My father declared, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Yes, Lord. And all his righteousness. And then all these things will be added unto you. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. How many know kingdom govern operates in love? Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the kingdom of God, neighbors cut each other's grass. Jesus, yeah. I said in the kingdom of God, folks cook you a soup when you're feeling <laughs> yes, ill. Yes. I said in kingdom God. Yes, Lord. Folks, here, can I pick you up for church? Yes. Your kids having a hard time? Uh, my daughter's good in math. Can my daughter tutor your daughter? Yes. yes. And kingdom rule. Yes. Boy, but we hide everything, don't we? Yeah. I don't want people to know I'm having a rough time in my marriage. Yeah. I don't want people to know I'm having a rough time with my parents. Yeah. I don't want people to know I'm having this time out there. Love does not cover up. Yeah, that's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. When God wants to make us up. Ah, he ain't got us. Love does hide our faults, though. Yes, love. Listen to me, please. Love is essential to the lifestyle of a Christian. Yes. We must discover what a loving lifestyle looks like. Love to the body of Christ is like blood to the natural body. How many know without blood we die? That's right. How many know without love we die as a Christian? That's, right. That's why folks don't want to follow us to the, to the gates of heaven. Because we act like we lead them to the gates of hell. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. How many of us always think there's a con game? Jesus. Why are you doing this for me? Why are that's like that? <laughs> Can I just experience real love, Sister Elvie? Uh, Can I show you real love? Right. Can I show you real love that the Father bestowed upon us? The Bible says, they caught this man and this woman. My God, I'm in the middle of it. Internet saints, I pray you here get this tape. This will be a blessing to you. We appreciate you watching us. We took the little message in for you. Pray that you get blessed by it. God bless you. We appreciate you. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed this word from the Lord. If what you have heard has been a blessing to you, this sermon is available in its entirety on CD or cassette at our e-store. And I want to take this time to offer to you the greatest opportunity made to man. I'm speaking about salvation, life after this life. Have you made preparations for your ultimate destination? The Bible declares in John that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish but have life everlasting. The truth is God loves you. God wants the best for you. God's made a way for you. If you want everlasting life, if you want to know that God has made a way, if you want to know for a surety that heaven is your determined destination with God and hell is not for you, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I believe you died for me and rose again. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are now my Lord and my Savior. I give you Lordship over my life and I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen and amen. Now if you pray that prayer with me, welcome to a new home. Welcome to a new way of living. Please write us. We want to hear from you. I want to hear about your life-changing decision. I hope to hear from you soon. God bless.